Uh, you know, I want to talk about where the market is going for, for VR and AR, but I'm wondering if, the, if there was a, a certain moment in your life that was kind of like the big moment where like you experienced VR or AR for that matter, but experienced VR and, and thought, you know, this is really going to be changing, changing things in a very big way. Was there a personal moment for you? Yeah. yeah uh, the moment I remember is uh, two years ago at Web Summit where I got a demo of uh, the Crescent Ray prototype of Oculus Rift. And I watched other people get a demo, dozens of people. And each one of them came out and used an expletive, like, holy shit, I, I, how, I, I, how did I miss this? Or uh, right. uh, mind blowing, right? And that that's continued for the last two years. Every time I see somebody get an experience in a VR headset for the first time, they, they have a smile or they're very emotional or, and, and they, uh, come away saying, man, that is just mind blowing. Right. Yeah. And, it, it, it is amazing. I was at the recent uh, gaming convention in downtown San Francisco and, uh, I tried it. I tried on the goggles. I don't even know where brand it was, but I, I was, I was prepared for it to be pretty cool, but to actually be in that world, I was, it was really deeply impressed. Yeah. So, you know, um, there, there's the high-end headsets, the Oculus Rift, the Valve uh, HTC Vive, uh, and the Sony PlayStation VR, and all of them are fairly uh, mind-blowing, and all of them are fairly similar, although I, I like the HTC Vive technically better because it has two sensors that you put on your walls, and it builds a 15 by 15 uh, box, a virtual box, that you can walk around in so you wow. don't have to just sit on a, a chair like i'm sitting on right now you could actually walk around a room and and uh, play what, what what's the brand on that again uh the h i'm sorry the htc vibe yeah yeah okay yeah. And, and 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 what is the approximate cost of that uh the headset and the controllers are around 800 dollars, and then you need uh, a 1500 dollar pc minimum I'm probably going to spend $2,500 on a PC to get a, the fastest PC I can with the biggest NVIDIA card I can get. 